Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. I want to say thank you again for joining me for another Cleaning Motivational. Today's video is a little shorter than my usuals. I've been trying to listen to you guys and get some shorter ones out there. This one's going to be a quick downstairs clean just to get my uh, house back to normal. I feel like it's like this every other day. I can't seem to keep up. I also decided to add in two chicken meals to the end of this video. If you'd like to watch those, they are at the very end. This is the mess of my kitchen. Um, from the night before from cooking those two meals. The chicken in the crock pot got done really late at night So I don't even feel like tackling my kitchen. We did bath time bedtime routine and went to bed I woke up the next day and during nap time now I'm gonna be getting all this cleaned up and then at the end you can see the meals I made if you want to give this video a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and sticking around Also, remember you can always drop comments down below. I like to respond back to you guys and today we're going to go ahead and start my living room and let's go ahead and jump into it. Since we're doing the play area in this room, the toys have kind of like started coming back to the center of my living room, which doesn't really bother me all that much. I just wish she would stay in her little area, but since redoing it, it honestly has become the easiest space um, to clean up because it's so organized. Drinking red wine by an open fire Make love a fight This or that This or that Evening's on the train I'll catch a morning fly Enjoying dinner until midnight On bed by night This or This or This or that One of my favorite things about this home is that I have a whole shelving unit, two sets actually, in my laundry room. Our laundry room is quite large. 
I still don't really like the way it's set up right now, so that's why I haven't shown you guys. But all my appliances are on one whole wall shelving unit, and it's fantastic to have them all in like one place, organized. I know where they're at. I don't have to dig deep into tight cabinets anymore or hide them in um, my garage. I'm going to go ahead and use these cookware and bakeware pods that I typically use in my crock pot and my glass dishes so that it's like easy to clean off, especially when it sits overnight, it can get really gunky. And I'll show you here in a minute how easy this stuff comes off after sitting for a whole night, not soaking, but using one pod for just a short period of time. I have mentioned this a couple times, but just in case you're new here and you don't know, I purchase almost all my cleaning supplies through Grove Collaborative. I always have a link down below and in the description box for every video, I label every product that I use in the video. So if you're ever just curious what a product is, it is listed down below in the description box.
I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I honestly don't know. And tell me how we messed up, drifting away from each other. Didn't wanna let you go. I don't know about you guys, but for me, when I cook, I don't know why, but I always destroy my kitchen, especially if I have a crock pot meal going on. I will stir it and then I'll put the spoon down and I always put the spoon down in a different place. I do own spoon rests and I do sometimes use paper towels to protect, but sometimes I just put it straight on my counter. I don't know why, but this is how my counters typically end up after I cook. Um, it doesn't sit there for days. I clean it every single day, but the mess has just looked like it's been there for so long. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this load of this week's cleaning cloths and the placemats from my dining room table. They have been getting kind of dirty since my husband's been working at the table and he eats there more often. This is gonna be the end of the cleaning portion of this video. If you do not feel like sticking around to see the cooking, I completely understand. You came here for cleaning and that's what I wanted to give you guys first. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and if you do plan on sticking around, I hope you enjoy the meals I cook. And if you plan to try them, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you do try them, please come back and let me know how you enjoyed them. These are two semi staples in my house. We've had the Verde chicken um, twice already before, and then the crock pot uh, shredded chicken tacos. That's something I do all the time. So thanks again for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.
to think the world of you Somewhere down the line We change and we grow And we fall out of touch As time goes by Oh, still I'm holding on to you I know that it's time for me To let you go I know that it's time for us to part Though it breaks my heart you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys try some of these dishes. I am a big fan of Mexican food or Mexican style food so that's what we have a lot in our home. Let me know if you try these recipes and thanks for sticking around to see them and thank you again for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one. On the highway it's our way Route 66 and we keep on driving we just do what we wanna do